Hi everyone, I'm Justin for Road Choice Truck Parts and welcome to another chapter in Road Choice Clutch Technical Training. This program covers flywheel basics and at the end of the session you'll know what a flywheel does, how it works, and how it affects clutch performance. We'll start with what a flywheel does. As you know, the flywheel bolts to the engine crankshaft. It's designed to interact with the clutch to transmit torque from the engine to the transmission. A spinning flywheel reduces vibration from the firing cylinders through its inertia. It also acts as a heat sink to help disperse heat during clutch usage. The teeth on the flywheel's outer perimeter make up the ring gear. The starter engages this gear to turn the engine. Most heavy-duty diesel truck flywheels are made from cast iron, and they come in two styles, flat or pot style, to accommodate different types of clutches. And of course, flywheels come with varying disc bore sizes. The most common disc bore sizes are 7 inch, 8.5 inch, and 10 inch, like this one. Determining if you have a good flywheel requires a few critical measurements. And in case you're wondering, all the measurements I'm about to perform can be checked and verified using the flywheel gauge in our Road Choice Clutch Installation Toolkit. Here's the first one. You must have a minimum distance of 5 16ths from the friction surface of the flywheel to the top of the bolt head that fastens the flywheel to the crankshaft. If this dimension is less than 5 16ths of an inch, the dampener of the clutch will hit the flywheel mounting bolts and cause failure. So if it's less than 5 16ths of an inch, you need a new flywheel. The second measurement is the clutch centering lip. This lip cannot be greater than 3 16ths of an inch. This dimension increases as the flywheel is ground during resurfacing. And if it's greater than 3 16ths of an inch, the clutch won't bolt tight to the flywheel. Now on a 14 inch pot style flywheel, this dimension must be 2.937 inches for correct clutch operation. Now let's check flywheel runout. A small amount of runout is acceptable, but too much can cause problems that range from improper clutch release to increased vibrations, uneven wear, disc breakage, and premature failure. The preventative solution is to check runout at four locations using a dial indicator, and I'll show you how to make each measurement. To check flywheel face runout, secure the dial indicator base to the flywheel housing face. Put the gauge finger in contact with the flywheel face near the outer edge. Then rotate the flywheel one revolution. The maximum acceptable runout is eight thousandths of an inch. To measure flywheel housing inside diameter runout, secure the dial indicator base to the crankshaft. Put the gauge finger against the flywheel housing pilot inside diameter, then rotate the flywheel one revolution. Maximum acceptable runout here is eight thousandths of an inch. Pilot bearing bore runout is measured by securing the dial indicator base to the flywheel housing face. Position the gauge finger so that it contacts the pilot bearing bore. Rotate the flywheel one revolution and check the indicator. Maximum acceptable runout here is five thousandths of an inch. Finally, to measure flywheel housing face runout, Secure the dial indicator base to the flywheel near the outer edge. Put the gauge finger in contact with the face of the flywheel housing and rotate the flywheel one revolution. Maximum acceptable runout is eight thousandths of an inch. All these measurements are pretty quick and they're the only way to make an accurate evaluation of your flywheel. Considering how important the flywheel is to the entire drivetrain, it's worth doing as part of every install. Well, that's it for this chapter. I hope you'll explore the other chapters in this clutch technical training series to make sure your clutch knowledge is up to date. You'll find all the parts information you need at roadchoice.com and you can always contact us directly with questions about what you've learned here. This is Justin for Road Choice Truck Parts and I'll see you next time.